On a fish. Nice. No! Whoa! Whoa! What's the other thing? For pike fishing, I don't think you can get any more exciting takes than these. Welcome back my friends, summer has fully arrived and for us bike anglers it is a bit of a bummer. Luckily I got you covered with a ton of fresh content dropping on the channels of White Label, Surter and Savage Gear pretty soon. Last week I was fishing the Predator Tour with Jesper and we ended up in 6th place out of 150 anglers. Big congrats to the winners Jelle and Mitchell, amazing performance guys. And before the Predator Tour, Franz helped us out with some practice fishing. We did a video about that which is coming soon. We also did a fresh underwater compilation with some amazing takes. Check that one out, the link is in the description. And also we did some really cool fishing in Sweden and that's what this video is going to be about but there will be some follow up videos on different channels too. Enjoy! Ooh, that was a cool take. Uh, we're both watching it, you saw it as well right? Yeah. Thank you for the shower. Nice. Nice. Really cool. So much fun. Light tackle. On the wingman chatterbait with a scout kicker. Do some overcast and we're getting some activity inside the bay, so that's a lot of fun. And catching them on the really light tackle is a really really nice bonus too. So Yo, on a Ah, miss. Fuckers. Yo, oh, miss ring. Oh, yeah, I'm there. Ah. <laughs> Yo, I'm there. I'm not gonna stick my finger in it, but I definitely could. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. Yeah, I think it's some uh, due to spawning. Like, you see the reed stumps that are standing out here? They're like super, super sharp. Then, when they hit, like a sh when in the heat of the moment, when they're spawning, I don't think they feel the sharp edges of the reeds, and then they, um, they really damage themselves. In a way, that looks a bit naughty. Yo, I'm not so much fun to fish with this light tackle. Um, the wind's gonna pick up in the afternoon, so that's where we uh, are gonna put our focus into the uh, structures and finding the bigger fish. But now we are fishing in a bay where there's, well, like I mentioned before, a bit more wind than on the inside. We're trying to find some, uh, some active fish in these bays. And so far we found a good spot where we found multiple fish lying against the reeds between the lily pads. Seems like a little chatterbait is outperforming the jerkbait at the moment. We're looking for a second rod, but it only has fewer carbon on it. The only rod that I have at the moment, or the only small bait cast that I have at the moment with a wire trace. I don't want to risk it with thin fewer carbon. Let me check if I got some uh, spare wire trace. This continues to be the trend of the day. But uh, lots of activity. I think I had like five takes already on the chatterbait. But in all honesty, Job has been a bit unlucky with the uh, with the deviated swim. I think he had five takes as well, but most of them came off. But then again, they do completely inhale the uh, little shadow bait. And I'm fishing it pulsating, so I uh, make extra vibration and then I give it some hang time by pulling it up and then reeling in the slack of my line, trying to keep the shadow bait at the same position. It doesn't have to be exact, but you can slow it down 
and then the chatterbait slowly wobbles down like this. If you give it too much slack, then it drops down. Uh, if you want to try to mimic that hang time a bit, even though the bait is sinking, obviously, because it's a chatterbait. And I think this one is 14 gram. Has a little soft bait in this case, a scout kicker in the back. To give it a little bit more vibration, a little bit more profile, and a bit of a wider body. So we are uh, switching tactics. We're gonna switch towards a, a deeper spot, and we're gonna fish with uh, bigger baits as well. Look at this. <laughs> That's a big chunk bitten out of my tail. Um, heavier rods and a um, uh, different approach we are gonna fish above uh, a slightly deeper water we're gonna fish above slightly deeper water um, between four and six meters and we're gonna do a slow presentation on the location where we have multiple really really good takes and i'm already like putting up um, high and big expectations towards you because the takes are like brutal Yo, Jesus, what an arm mate! Yo, whoa, whoa, what an arm mate! Whoa. Really brutal, like, I was giggling and screaming like a child last week when I was <laughs> getting takes that were like absolutely mental because you do a slow presentation, these fish come up from, from, from the deep and they smash the baits like, it's like hooking a freight train. It, it's, for pike fishing, I don't think you can get any more exciting takes than these. Um, Besides top waters, maybe, that, but that's more the visual aspect. Um, yeah, slow presentation. You cast, you twitch, you make a little vibration, and you just let them hang still for like one and two seconds. And usually during those long pauses, you do get the takes. Um, yeah, just hope the fish are here as well, because that's the element I can't really control. But um, yeah, otherwise, it's gonna be fun, so stay tuned. <laughs> Chat 23. What a legend this has been. This trip. I really, really dig this one. Somehow, like I'm the guy that always goes for the big baits, but I don't know, this 23 centimeter version of the Scout Chat. Crack way. This one needs some tender loving care with a soldering tool. But um, yeah, awesome, awesome bait. Once you start to understand how to mitigate the drop and let it hang still, this with a 15 gram hat. Amazing takes. So, we need a pair of new sunglasses. Leech has some new models for 2023. The channel members can now get 15% discount, so make sure to grab your pair for the coming season. <laughs> that is the first meter plus bike of the day. Saw the fish, I think 101 or 102. Just gonna measure real quick afterwards, but nice. What a take. I lifted up the pole tail trout just towards the surface and I let it rest for like one or two seconds. And the trick is to reel up the slack and uh, create that artificial hang time, so to speak, because the bait it doesn't sink super fast, but you want to mitigate that sinking by lifting your tip and reeling in the slack. But, um, what a fish, nice. <laughs> that was such a brutal day. Oh, it hurt my, you know, it smashed. 
smashed the side of the rod in my ribs. So, Mike. Here. Relax. Super nice. Awesome fish. Cool. Let's get some photos and get her back, buddy. So, we are heading into a bay system. Oh, let me check the map. Oh, I need to correct it to the right. Yeah, that's also nice. We are heading into a bay system, as I was mentioning. Uh, we had lots of action on the stones. Um, Job was a bit unlucky with some takes. Um, I was a bit fortunate with some takes that actually got uh, stuck on my hooks. And I must say, I um, some pretty nice fish out there. And the take short was just brutal. Brutal as fuck. Um, now we are heading into a bay system, which is always kind of productive, but um, the wind is blowing out of it, so that's usually not a good sign. But then again, the uh, sun is going down slowly, it's 5 o'clock, overcast, active fish, should be good, uh, but I think I'm gonna go, I don't know, it feels like cheating to put the chatter bay back on. What do you? Fish vangen, tenminste, lossen. The wingman shadow bait once again. I think my uh... oh. this is a uh... it's a 30 gram rod, a twitch jig, perch bite. So it's actually intended for perch. Line tackle, small shadow baits, a lot of fun. I think uh, your fish was twice the size of this one uh, that you lost, buddy. It, it isn't even hooked yet. Oh. <sighs> <Nice>. <laughs> Got a little nibble, and someone bit the tail from my uh, little scout kicker. I'm using the scout kicker on the back of the uh, the wingman. For those curious, I am using the 15 gram version, the wingman shadow. And like I said, it's a uh, scout kicker in the back as a uh, teaser. Now, I don't know what was going on that day, but Job was missing fish oh, nah. after fish after fish. I must say, the next day he made a really, really good comeback, but that one is gonna be on the Savitsky YouTube channel, so stay tuned, guys. Who krijgt hij het voor me? Finally, dude. Nice. <laughs> That's the first fish. <laughs> I think like you had like 12 takes. Is, uh... Finally. A little result. Nice. So, final part of the day. The wind is picking up. Um, can we go for the fish activity? What are you going to use? Uh, I think I'm going for the pearl sail again. And then the lemon version. Seriously? You sure? Yeah. <laughs> I love fluo. Finally. Finally. <laughs> On the lemon. <laughs> On the lemon trout. <laughs> Close off the day in style with some amazing fish and also some amazing waves because the wind was really really picking up. We prepare for the next day because we have a mixed session coming up, trolling and casting. But that will be on the Savage YouTube channel as I mentioned before. Thanks for watching guys. Also big thanks to all our channel members and we'll see you guys in the next video.